Hey, what's going on, YouTubulous? It's so coming at you here, feeling fantastic and motivated now that we got a huge chunk of Frankenstein already ripped out. Thanks to you guys' suggestions and inspiration in the comments just keeping me going. I feel really thrilled about how much I've accomplished so far just by myself. But on the other hand, I am not so thrilled of some other recent developments happening with my girlfriend's sound system. Yeah. As you guys know, we just posted up a really popular video of the Rockville K9 doing some initial testing out of the box. Got like a 140 in the existing enclosure that we had in my girlfriend's car. But lo and behold, it could not stand the test of time. We only did like five to 10 minutes worth of testing in that video. And even after I turned my gains down after the fact, we still got some unwound coils, blew the thing to smithereens on just casual listening on a road trip. And my girlfriend does not like loud, loud bass. So that just goes to show that it it didn't even happen on rated power. So I, I, I just gotta tell you guys the whole story. So as most of you know, about three weeks ago, everybody and their mom was talking about these subs. No matter what group you went on, everyone was posting about these. So being pretty curious about it and knowing nothing about the brand really, I started you know, reading the comments and seeing what people were saying, but nobody had you know any experience with them. So I was pretty curious about getting them in my hands firsthand and about doing a giveaway on YouTube with the 15 and the 12. So being super curious about all the hype, I went ahead and bought one for myself too. Which brings us to this sucker right here. The subwoofer that we tested that same day in the car and got relatively great results with. So this video is not to bash anybody or any company. I'm just giving you my first hand honest experience with the product. So as you know, it did great doing the initial burps and stuff and held up absolutely fine after the video. But once music was brought into the equation for any extended period of time, she got real stinky and got real slinky. Oh boy. As you can see, the coil is completely unraveled to almost the quarter mark right there. The last three quarters of the coil is completely gone and very, very easily unwound. So much though that it makes me really curious if the glue may have been a little bit defective. Once you start to unravel it just a little bit, you can really start to see how crusty and how easily the adhesive just sheds right off. Now, I don't know if that's just because the coil itself is not a high temperated coil or it shouldn't have been seeing that sort of heat, even though it wasn't excessive heat, so confusing. So it, it just has me a little bit boggled because I mean, my girlfriend did it. I mean, that's saying something. She doesn't like loud bass, but yet she can fry a sub like this when it wasn't even loud. So it just really had me a little bit confused and a little bit weary of, of kind of of what someone said on Facebook that I was like, I don't know, endorsing this product, even though I'm not paid by them or I'm not like telling you to go buy them just for the mere fact that the video got popular and that I'm talking about this sub, people are probably going to buy it just because I'm talking about it. So I have to tell you that like, yes, it probably could be a great sub if they changed the way they rate it. I believe they'll take care of every single person who's ever had a problem with it. That's what they told me. And we're still going to continue the giveaway, but I just wanted to let you guys know uh, exactly what's going on. And before anyone just comes in here and says we probably just clipped the damn thing to death or just put too much wattage to it, I just want to stress that we actually tuned the amplifier after the SPL testing with an O-scope to much lower levels to match what would be appropriate for this woofer. But other than that, the damn thing does seem to be a fairly decent blank canvas for some potentially better soft parts. And that's not a bash, that's just a personal opinion. So the giveaway is still underway. We are gonna be giving um, the 12 away and the 15 away. It's just up to you to you know, use it correctly. And you know, I'm actually anxious to see how it all comes together. So maybe if you know, we could stay posted on each other, send some messages back and forth just to see how it all unravels, no pun intended. But in other positive news, at least there's this to look forward to. I have come so far since our last little bit, guys. Can't you agree? Oh my gosh. And all by myself too, but I guarantee that this next part is gonna be uh, a, a definitely two-man special. I've already tried to get it out of there, but man, she's just holding on for dear life in some of these places. Damn near completely gutted. Slap a big fat thumbs up for that, huh? What do you think? And just to let you know, we have over two hours of this whole process already filmed, and now that we have our standing desk, which we just posted a video about, the whole build, if you wanna check it out, there'll be a little thing popping up right now. Thanks to that desk, we can now edit all of this stuff because it is gonna take a long time. 
or really let's make that up to you guys. What would you rather see? Would you rather see a type of video where I'm just like doing nonstop work where you can actually hear the details of the screws and the knocking and the cutting? Or would you rather have music over it, slightly more edited and some dialogue over it? You should have seen what it was like when this jack busted off the two bottom chambers. The damn box almost came up and jammed me right in the face. And as you can see, the damn thing is built rugged, almost to the point where I'm like regretting using so much lumber. Here's where the back of the wall was attached with all that PL and I had to chisel it bit by bit with a hammer. And one little idea I had to really get some more volume with the new box is, please ignore that, that was, that was Snip special back in the day. But I was thinking of actually going to the window right here, all the way to the window, or even replacing the window itself with steel and making this right here the edge of my enclosure. Way more volume than would be conventionally possible. The next biggest step is tackling the front, or at least the top of the front, because this piece of wood right here goes all the way up to the top, which elbows into this. So even if I tried to pull this part down, which is not affixed to the bottom, it's affixed to the top by all these screws. But once we get past right about here, it should be a little bit easier because that's when things stop becoming actually drilled into the roof. There are some two by fours going down right here and there's screws going up through it th um, from the box, but there's nothing actually coming through the metal until you get up through here. Once we get the rest of the enclosure out, I'm gonna start to clean everything up and then start with the dash and work our way back up. It's just gonna be a, basically a flat panel of strength and nothing else. I'm gonna eliminate a lot of this stuff up here like we've already seen. And for all those people who commented four alternators under the hood, from our last video, well, there's actually five alternators under the hood. There's nice stock location right there, and we're gonna be taking these off, cleaning them up with that Deco dust for some nice 300 Iraqi action in the expo. As it sits right now, we've probably removed roughly 500 pounds of wood, and we have already taken the initiative and had a huge bonfire the other day. You wouldn't believe how massive it was. We had the flames damn near up to the top of the house. Luckily, we didn't have any mishaps, just all ashes of what once was. All right, now let's have a little group suggestion time. Here we are in a huge expedition, lots of space to do anything you could do with car audio. What would you do? If you personally had my vehicle, my equipment, which is, let's just say, 818s, let's not do the 10 because of how the vehicle, you know, you had 818s and 85500s. What type of enclosure would you do? And let's see what the most popular opinion is. As it sits right now, I would love to have a big driver side port. Some sort of integration of that would be awesome. But because of this little Humpty Dumpty right here, it's gonna make things, it's gonna make things a little bit different. So I might have to work around just this thing right here because I think there's like an 11 inch difference between the upper level. So we may have a, a center port like we've always done right here. I'm not sure, I'm just, I'm, I want as many suggestions and ideas as I possibly can, especially because we're in this part of the process. Nothing has happened yet, so I can literally do anything. I can go either way. But let me show you something that could potentially be a problem. I'm not 100% sure. As you see here, we got a whole bunch of wood from our man, uh, Mr. Allman. It got us a great deal on this wood. So it was like, I don't know, 250 bucks for all, all these sheets. But as you can see, we have some lamination going on here. It's laminated on both sides. Now, I don't know if adhesive is friendly enough uh, with lamination. So, uh, you know, am I gonna be able to double up these with wood glue and still have a strong bond with this plastic-like non-porous surface? I mean, I'm not sure. I know that, you know, butting up on this right here, which is wood to wood surfaces will be fine. But once we start like doubling up our baffles, tripling up our baffles, will this laminate or like this veneer or whatever, you know, be a problem? That's where I would like you guys to input on. I know there are several adhesives out there that work great on multiple substrates like PL, but when you're working with stuff like that, it has, you know, s some mass to it, unlike wood glue, which can really compress down really flat and still have great bond. So th that's what I'm dealing with right now. Will I be able to use all of this wood for the new build, who knows? Will I need to buy new stuff? Maybe. So that's basically what's been going on on my end, just kicking ass in Frankenstein and taking it one day at a time and also announcing the winners for the giveaway here. I'm gonna be doing the YouTube giveaway a little bit sooner than I expected. 
uh, just to get it out the door and sent to you guys. And I'm doing the Patreon giveaway announcement today. So if you're looking forward to that, make sure you get in on the, on the action here on the page. We're gonna be doing, try to do one once a month for you guys, whether it be a nice sub or a nice little gadget, who knows? But uh, we're just gonna try to get, get you guys some, some cool stuff to your door a little more often. All right guys, until the next video, this is EXO signing out. I think I'm gonna go for a quick little cruise in Little Blue and come back nice and ready to work on Frankenstein. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye guys!